Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the SAUCE number 216 SDB steel door bracket. Um, this is a reinforcement when installing the 216 uh, SAUCE hinge into a hollow metal door, hollow metal frame type application, or you know something that might be built or manufactured. That's what they look like. When you buy one, you're getting two each plates. Um, you would need a pair of plates, too, to, to attach a single hinge to a frame or to a door. So if you need to attach a single hinge to a door and a frame, you'd need two total plates. And if you're doing two or three, you'll need either four or six to get it attached. If you're going to do one hinge on both sides, you need two packages is what I'm trying to say. This is going to include an upper and a lower naturally. Uh, and it's going to look, of course, like that when it's installed. Well, it's going to look like that when it's installed. Something in that range, obviously. Uh, weighs about a half of a pound per package, made of steel. Let's take some dimensional properties of the item. Thickness of the material. 0.188, so 3 sixteenths, 0.188 thick. The overall length of the plate, about 3 and 7 eighths. Overall width, about an inch and a quarter. Now this offset, and there is a link below this video to the, uh, to the cut sheet, or I should say the template for the item. I would say that that offset is about 0 .407. Let's take a look and see what the template calls for, 0 .407. Uh, there is a thickness of that leaf at 1530 seconds. So 1 divided by 32 times 15 is 0.468. The problem is my caliper is really not able to bridge that, so I'm, I am indeed eyeballing it, so to speak. And maybe about there. Yeah, you know, I get, depending on how I tip the, the tool, you know, I'm really approaching 0.46875. So I'm going to say that that's accurate. Now, how are you going to install this? Well, the bottom line is um, you've got some work to do in terms of making the preparation with the radius top and bottom in the door and or frame itself. This is going to go inside of the unit. And you're probably going to do a plug weld, would be my guess. You'll drill a hole <clears throat> through your door or your frame into this plate, and then you'll fill that hole uh, with your weld, and you'll grind that smooth. Uh, or if it's a frame, you probably just flip the frame over, and through the throat of the opening, you'll place those plates in there, and you'll run a pretty good aggressive bead to hold that in place. Uh, that's how I would do it. Um, I would also use a hinge uh, as a fixture or a holding device. I would attach the hinge to my plates um, and then I would use that hinge as a way to hold my plate secure as I tack them. I would then remove the hinge after I masked it off. I would cover it. I would make sure I didn't damage the end user's property. And then I, then I would lay down a, uh, you know, the, the appropriate weld to keep this in place, to keep these brackets in place. Now, why would you order these? Well, you know, it, it's just less work than you making your own. Uh, is simply the bottom line. We would, you would certainly be able to manufacture uh, plates to do this type of job. It's just, you know, how much work do you want to invest in plates that will certainly be less expensive than the investment in labor. This is for the 216 hinge. I'm also told by um, Sauce that it is the same plate that would be used in a 416. Let's take a look. And as I pull up a 416 hinge and I compare the dimensional properties, bear with me. The 
I look at the dimensional properties of each. Yeah, I do see that they're the same. Uh, yes, indeed. Comparing the sizes of the hinge, most importantly, the eye dimension, 15, 30 seconds. Yeah, indeed, the thickness of that leaf, which is related to the offset. So the only real unknown, and that's why that dimension is going to be shy on their eye dimension, which is 15, 30 seconds, is because you've got... You, you need to account for the thickness of the material, and perhaps my original dimension was more accurate. Let's say that you had 16 gauge on your frame. Well, if you install your hinge, and this dimension was about 0 .407, and your hinge leaf thickness was 0 .46875, well, you add another 60 thousandths to that, and you're spot on. Because your hinge is going to come up, it's going to stand taller than this, because the thickness of your material is going to take up the difference. So whether you're dealing with 16 gauge, 14 gauge, or 12 gauge even, um, this is really going to be intended for about a 16 gauge frame. And how to compensate for something thicker? Well, I might just pad that down off of the edge of the door. Pardon me. I might pad that from the underside of the throat of the frame to lift it the thickness of what I needed to pick it up as. You know, back in the shop, they would be smacking this to uh, change the offset to compensate. That's just not the way to do it because inevitably you're going to have a compromised plate that is not going to have the proper offset. It's certainly going to be bent at an angle, and this is 3 16 So you're better off shimming that with something that you can weld and make it part of the structural integrity of this, okay? Um, depending on the thickness. If it's 16 gauge, I think you're going to be uh, in real good shape. Now, finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the sauce products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the sauce, this is their part number 216SDB, steel door bracket, or any other sauce product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.